What's up, Winhawks? My name's AC. And this is Abigail. And this is Hawk Now. So, Alex, where have you been this week? Well, I'm glad you asked. You might be wondering where you can find a, a fine gold 3DS, a Nintendo Switch, and a totally lit game of Uno inside of Winona Senior High School classroom. Well, everybody, what club are we in? Geek Club! That's right, that's Geek Club, taking place in room 236, also proudly known as Mr. Matson's room, taking every Tuesday and Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m. We're here with Vigo Smith. Now on a scale of 1 to 10, how lit is this club? About a 15. Awesome. So when you come here on any, every Tuesday, Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m., what do you do in Geek Club? Um, I run role-playing game campaigns with my friends, I occasionally play Magic the Gathering and board games. In case all you guys are wondering, that is the definition of awesome. We're here with Alec Bruss. Now, Alec, what do you do here in Geek Club? I usually play video games, but I always join other people around that are doing their own things because I, I consider everything here very interesting in a way, shape, or form. In many ways, it's not just what you do, it's what other people do, right? So let's do socialize with your friends. That's awesome stuff. We're here with Rachel. Now, Rachel, what do you do here in Geek Club? I play... On my DS, I play cards with my friends, I do homework, it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah a very handy hour to have. Thank you. We're here with the co-creator of Geek Club. Now, as far as I have understand, it originally started as Anime Club, but we had a group of students that helped us expand it to more of a broader definition. Now, what is that definition? When we hear Geek Club, what does that necessarily mean? All right, so uh, I think our idea of Geek Club was to make it so that anybody who's into any sort of, you know, geeky or geek culture kind of related thing could come in and just kind of hang out and share it with other people. Uh, super informal and just expand on it. If people want to play it with you, awesome, go for it. If people don't, well, then maybe it's something that you can join in on as well. In case we caught your attention in this previous video with Geek Club, it's taking place on every Tuesday and Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m. at room 236 in the English Wing, also proudly named as Mr. Matson's room. Now let's go off to Cole with the announcements. This year for Senior Portraits, Yearbook would like them to be digitally uploaded onto their yearbook program. Photos need to be submitted by December 1st. We're all here privileged to start off this long chain of interviews with the Preston Kamrowski. Now Preston, we see that amazing gold crown. Why do you got that on today? Because I am the king. We are running it for the first time with costumes today. So we'll So you that. are the king in this Cinderella play. We also know you put on a couple pounds. How did that happen? You know, I ate a few cheeseburgers. It's a few milkshakes. It, it'll add up once in a while. So the McDonald's diet has actually helped you perform better in this play. We're here with Kyle. Now, what, who are you in the play? I am a father as well as one of the horses that pulls the carriage. So you're one of the horses. So how are you going to pull the carriage? Well, I just pull it with my strength along with three other horses. Wow, that's going to be awesome. We're looking forward to see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're honored to bring you Theo. Now, Theo, who are you in the play? I'm the steward in the play, so I'm kind of like a butler to the king and queen. Now, we've heard that you've been practicing, the whole group has been practicing four hours a day from Preston, just going crazy. Does it ever get old after a while, or does it still keep its fun? I think it's still so much fun to keep on learning new dances, touching yeah. it up, and just putting on a fun show. So we hear lots and lots about practicing. You guys practice four hours a day again. You guys are committed. Do you, do you love it just as much as everybody else? Yeah, I really do enjoy working with the cast and being able to act and show a different character. Uh, I bring you to Ava now. Now we've been interviewing lots of the cast members, but we rarely talk to people behind the scenes. Now I understand you are the microphones. Now what does that mean? Well, I have to... Uh Make sure that uh, all the mics are turned on and off when necessary and make sure that they're not too loud or too quiet. So when you're doing the microphones during the performances, are you doing that on the fly as it happens? Pretty much. Um, we usually test it to see if they have like set levels of volume per person because everyone has different volumes of their voice. Yeah. That takes a lot of work, am I correct? So what happens if something just goes wrong in a performance? What, what would you do? Well, f step one, panic. Step yeah, two, yeah. Um, yeah. the thing is, this year I don't. I, I usually like play a CD, mm -hmm. but this year it's all piano, so I don't have to worry about that. I just have to make sure we have a microphone on the piano, so I have to make sure you can hear that. You can hear everyone else, and no, nothing's too loud, nothing's too quiet. 
That sounds like you know what you're doing. We had a mock election last week during our lunch waves, and our official results were Governor Tim Waltz with 66%, U.S. Senate Klobuchar with 61%, and the other U.S. Senate Smith with 65%, and the U.S. Representative Feehan with 62%. The total voter turnout for each grade was with 12th grade, an outstanding 36%, 11th grade, 25%, 10th grade, 18%. And ninth grade, 30%. Come on, 10th grade, 18%? Come on! Now let's head on over to Colton with sports and activities for the week. We're sorry to inform you that Colton Byer chickened out on telling you sports this week, so AC rescued up here to take his place. Whammy! Andy Skillicorn plays 95th. Whammy! Colton Brand plays in 66th. And Whammy! Carter Briggs plays 13th in the Cross Country State Championships. Whammy! The Winona Windhawks beat Faribault High 42 to 7 and are now officially state bound. And whammy! We also had a ton of girls in swim and dive do an outstanding job. Let's go, Windhawks! Brooklyn is a senior here that describes herself as smart, crafty, open-minded, and kind. She lists AP Senior Studio as her favorite class. Brooklyn plays viola in the Winona Senior High School Orchestra, is active in National Honor Society, and works as a lifeguard and swim instructor at the Aquatic Center. Faculty and staff describe Brooklyn as friendly, polite, kind, and a role model to her peers. After graduation, she plans to attend college, and her advice to students is, ask your teachers questions. Senior Cortez describes herself as artistic, caring, self-motivated, and hardworking. Cortez is active in the Winona Senior High School Jazz and the Winona FFA. She enjoys drawing in her favorite art class with Ms. Dolan. Our staff describes her as an excellent student who sets a good example for her peers. After graduation, Cortez plans to attend a six-year college to major in accounting and to earn her certified public accountant degree. Her advice to all those young students out there is, don't let those around you influence who you are. Be true to yourself and you'll achieve some of the most brilliant goals in life. You might be wondering what the Winona Senior High School Band does before football games. Well, I had the ultimate opportunity to find out. Here with uh, Ben right here. Yep. A skill of 1 to 10, how do you rate the success of this tailgate party? It's about an 11. It's pretty great out here. And that's uh, just lowballing it, right? Just lowballing it, you know. Yeah. Don't want to go too high. <laughs> Lots to come. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this fantastic tailgate party going on? I'd say a solid 12. Wow, that's much higher than the 11 we just heard earlier. <laughs> that's more like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this tailgate party right now? 13. I'd say it's a 13. 14. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your satisfaction with this tailgate party? Give me a second. Give me, yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. 15. Yes. A solid 16. Yes! On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your satisfaction with this tailgate party? Oh, 10, definitely. Oh my god, no! Hey, oh, no! You ruined it! On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your satisfaction with this tailgate party? 18. 19. Alright, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate, not just with the tailgate party, but this awesome experience overall? 20, brother! Yeah! That's all we got for you this week, Winhawks. And remember, if you have anything you would like to see in next week's video, feel free to email us or visit us up at the Learning Commons. And remember, stay classy, Winhawks.